The word nas, the word nas has several meanings, but one of its root origins actually comes from nisyan, forgetfulness. Forgetfulness. Nas, one of the reasons human beings are called nas is because they are forgetful. And al farra even as, went as far as to say it is because they forgot the promise they had made to Allah. You know which promise? Alastu bi rabbikum, qalu bala shahidna. Am I not your master? Allah said, am I not your Rabb? And we said, yes, of course, we testify. But we come to this world and we forget. One of the only powers Allah has given shaitan is the ability to make people forget. And what's the biggest thing people forget? That Allah is their master. I don't mean you forget it for life, you have amnesia, you don't remember it again. But for those five minutes when you were acting out your, your aggression, you forgot. He can make you forget at the right moment. Now listen to this ayah. إِسْتَحْوَذَ عَلَيْهِمُ الشَّيْطَانِ فَأَنْسَاهُمْ ذِكْرَ اللَّهِ Shaitan got a hold of them and made them forget the remembrance of Allah. The word nas that's used. وَالْأَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ nas. The master of the people, the people who have a tendency to what? Forget. And when they forget, whose waswasa is it that makes them forget? Shaitan. So we seek protection not becoming forgetful. Part of the lesson of this surah is, don't be forgetful. We are asking Allah to be people of remembrance and not people of you know, uh, heedlessness. Similarly, Allah reminds us, وَإِذَا قَرَأْتَ الْقُرْآنِ فَاسْتَعِذْ بِاللَّهِ مِنَ الشَّيْطَانِ الرَّجِيمِ When you recite Qur'an, seek Allah's refuge. Because you know what's going to happen? You will, pay, you will forget what you're reciting. Whenever you recite Qur'an, seek Allah's refuge.